Somehow. Hello. Hello, young man. I've never seen you here before. I'm new in town. Please. Who comes here voluntarily? Actually, I'm just looking for someone. This song. It reminds me of something. Beautiful, isn't it? My dear mother used to sing it to me. Where did you learn the song you just sang? My mother taught it to me. Where did she learn it? From her mother. Ah, oh. where did she learn it? From her mother. I see. And where did she learn it? It was carried on the wind. Enough now. Have you seen a girl passing by with a pigeon? Her name's Laura. The one from the posters. Yes, she just passed me. I have to find her. What a coincidence. I know where the young lady is hanging around. What? Really? Oh, perfect. You have to tell me. She's been stealing from Conroy. Poor Conroy. I don't even own anything worth stealing since my husband left me. I'm sorry. You don't have to be. He got turned into stone. Oh. Yes. At least you can rely on the Brazilians. You know who she is? I can tell you a thing or two, my boy. But knowledge comes with a price, if you catch my drift. Uh-huh. You don't get it, do you? I'm afraid not. I would like to tell you, but worrying about my baby has made me forget everything. If my baby would be warm again, I could probably remember. Your baby's cold, but it looks so happy. Yes, with a smile it can better stand its destiny. Well, the cold... or the hunger... All the despair. E. Oh, I'm so sorry. How sorry? Uh, what? Well, I get sympathy every day for free. What I really need is something for my baby to wear. Oh, I understand, but now I really have to... Thank you, you're an angel. I had a onesie in mind. A what? A onesie. You know, footed pajamas, made from strawberry yarn, for my baby to wear. But where do I get such a onesie for your baby? If I'd known that, I would have taken care of it myself, believe me. But I have to stay here and protect the few belongings I still have. And the baby, of course. Where should I start looking for something like that? You'll think of something. Oh, it really should be organic strawberry yarn. But isn't that the most expensive material in Asposia? The Wind Monk's fabric? The fabric of nobles? The baby insists on it. Oh, yes, of course. I guess then... You should start to look for it. Okay, then. A onesie made from strawberry yarn. What's the baby's name? Conroy. Oh, that's great. You named it after the abbot. You never know. Maybe that calms the Brazilians. I think the name suits him. Thanks. It's a girl. Well then, goodbye. Okay. If you're ever looking for me, you know where to find me. I won't go home, that's for sure. Those who labor with a smile are sure to live for quite a while. The original Conroy puppet for all his loyal fans. It talks when pressed. 
this doll belongs to someone. I think it'd be rude to take it with me. Let's see what's in there. A pillow, half a glass of pickles, and a few nails. I wish I had such a nice room in the palace. But Conroy says wealth spoils character. What am I supposed to do with it? In order to break it, there'd have to be a pane of glass there. Today, jaw shatterer for Aspiri. This must be a dentist's office. Oh, the little boy's playing. I used to play Escape from the Palace. Conroy even played with me. I never won. Hi, little guy. Friend or enemy? Uh, friend? Hmm, I guess if you were an enemy, you would let me know. My name is Detza. Gentleman, adventurer, and explorer of everything unknown. Name your request. What kind of map is that? It's a treasure map. It will lead me to the Bazillion's treasure. That sounds awesome. Where is the treasure? It says it's somewhere in the root forest. Oh, in Asposia's most dangerous place? Nobody's ever returned alive from that forest. Yeah, I know. I was there once with a boy from the neighborhood hunting for gorfs. I tied him to a tree. He was never to be seen again. Oh. Yeah, but my mom said he's in a better place now. Are you sure that this is a treasure map? It looks like a knitting pattern to me. Oh, come on! Do I look like I can't tell a treasure map from a knitting pattern? No, uh, yes. I mean, of course, but I think that... Listen, I will tell you what I've been trying to tell my mom. And the judge. And the uncle who wanted to discuss my dreams with me. If I tell you it's real, then it's real! Can I have a look at the treasure map? No! I want to find the Bazillion's eyes! Is that your Foss Foss? Yes, its name is Foss. I saved it. You did? How so? It was captured on Asposia's highest tower. Isn't Asposia's highest tower the lighthouse that doesn't shine anymore? Hmm... Yes, I remember Conroy telling me that the Foss Foss there had been stolen from the tower. Not stolen. Freed. Oh. Wouldn't it be easier to have another pet? Like a tiny, soft, tumble mouse? I used to have many tumble mice. But they always flew around all over the place. Oh. So they were blown away from you? They wanted to escape, but I stopped them. I see. And how did you do that? I stapled them to the ground. Oh. So they stayed. Oh. Yes, I also used to have two spindle pillars. They always wanted to crawl away, too. Ah. Uh -huh. So I stapled them. Oh. I also had a wooloof. Oh, no. But it didn't want to stay, either. Please, don't continue. Yes, Mom told me to keep my hands off the animals. Yes. And off staples. Nowadays, Phosphos are rare animals. I know. That's why it was so hard to get this one here. Have you ever thought about adopting any pet other than a Phosphos? Like what? Well, maybe one that's, um, a little more durable. Like a brick. Oh, what a nice pot. Did you just call it a pot? This helmet saved my life a million times! Like, like when I had to fight the Root Trolls! Uh-huh. How did you do that? Fire! Are you talking about that big fire two years ago? Otherwise, the Root Trolls would have destroyed all of Asposia! And the big flood extinguished the fire! You did that as well? If the question implies that I saved everybody's lives, the answer would be... Yes! 
It's good that you have such a wild imagination. But don't you think your mum noticed her pot is missing? It's a helmet! It's made of steel aluminium! I still remember how I fought off the legendary Gorf army and how the Gorfs returned to the root forest. Does your mum know you're playing here all by yourself? Yeah, and she said if I wanted to, I'm even allowed to spend the night outside. That's, um, understandable. Is the pot, um, helmet bulletproofed? Unfortunately not. I tested it. How? I'm not allowed to talk about it until the trial. What is the Bazillion's treasure? The Bazillion's treasure is so secret that nobody knows what it looks like. But it's most likely in a treasure chest. And what did the Bazillions put into the chest? Their eyes. Oh, yuck. What would you do with them? I don't know. I guess I will try to break them. So, you're looking for the Bazillions' eyes? Yes! How many times do I have to tell you? If I'd had these stones, I could have turned Asposia's enemies into rock! Who are Asposia's enemies? Ha! It could potentially be anybody. Absolutely anyone. Well, that's it. Enjoy your game. What game? Okay. I'd better take it before someone steals it. I wonder what he's done to incur the Bazillion's wrath. Better not. I might knock him over. Just remember the incident ten years ago. The scholars still call it Domino Day. This was either caused by a Bazillion attack, or someone built a house without a roof. What's the use of a house without a roof? If it's just lying here... It's totally greasy. I can't grab it. That's just a random guess, isn't it? What should I use it for? I can't do that. Oh my gosh, are those arms hanging out of the window? I hope the person belonging to those arms is still attached to them. Hello up there. Can you hear me? Who's there? Friend? Enemy? Fan? I believe... Uh, friend? Oh, how nice to welcome a visitor. Why are you in prison? Oh, that's a long story. I used to be one of Asposia's tailors, but the Wind Gods found my robes to be too... provocative. They attacked the city, and Conroy captured me for my own safety. Against my will. Hmm. Actually, the story's not that long. You have to be Asposia's best tailor. Oh, I'm only a small stitch in the unending scarf of history. So, you're a tailor? Oh, young friend, it's a lot more than a job. It's a calling. The needles are mental extensions of my arms. You have to become one with the fabric. The material has to flow through you. So, you're a tailor? Yes. You can't imagine how much I miss knitting. 
How come you're a tailor? With those arms, you look like you could chuck an anvil. Oh, you sound like my dear parents. They always wanted me to become a bouncer. But I discovered my love for yarn early on. I used to crochet in secret, under my blanket. From there, it was only a matter of time until I worked with harder fabrics. At the age of 14, I started working with pillow lace. What could I say? My dad found out about my secret crocheting and threw me out. I spent several years on the street before a rich wool magnet picked me up. That's fascinating. Oh, I was a seamster like everybody else. The wool magnet discovered my talent and presented me to the right people and well, my career started. Wow, it's great how far you've come. Yes, and now I'm here. You must have seen a lot of things as a, a tailor. Oh, yes, I remember the big fashion shows, the stunning robes, the patterns. I was a trendsetter. I was an icon. All that's in here are rags in different shades of grey. Hideous. If you miss knitting that much, I can help you. Yes. Can you get me out of here? Oh, God. I've been waiting years for this moment. Hmm. Actually, I was hoping you could knit something for me. I mean, if you miss it that much and all. Oh, yes, sure. That's also very... Mm, mm. What do you want me to knit for you? A onesie. Well, only if you want to. Oh, and then you get me out of here? I know. Conroy brought me here for my own safety. But I'd rather be turned into stone than spend another day in this cell. Well, I guess I can see what I can do. Great. Okay. Well, then I need a knitting pattern, needles, and, um, mm, what fabric are we looking for? Strawberry yarn would be best. Okay. Well, I'm familiar with that. I used to have strawberry yarn when I was, well, free. But, but I really can't promise you anything. That's okay. This is the most hope I've had in years. That's, uh, um, really tragic. But back to the onesie. Feel free to ask whatever it is you want to know. The onesie should be made from strawberry yarn. Oh, oh, I remember that material well. I designed the three wind monks' fashionable robes. They were made from finest strawberry yarn. The material is extremely rare and very expensive. The baby insists on it. I guess I'll have to come up with something else. Where can I get strawberry yarn? It's the holy material. Only the wind monk's robes are allowed to be made from it. Do you really require needles to knit? Yes. Call me old-fashioned, but I can't knit without needles. Where are your needles? Oh, I have no idea. Knitting is a passion, do you understand? When the passion of knitting takes over, things can get lost. Where can I get a knitting pattern? Think of something. I suggest something to you. You take your time and get the pattern and I will... wait here. Where can I get such a knitting pattern? There used to be a knitting pattern store on Storm Avenue, but it closed down. Well, that doesn't help me. Well, come up with something. Okay, I'm, I'm going now. Oh. Okay, I'll stay here, yes. <laughs> 